Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Wired versus wireless controllers. There's a lot of talk that wired controllers are lower latency than wireless controllers. And it's true to a very, very small degree. Um, the difference should be about four to eight milliseconds. And just for an example, a frame of video when you're playing a game is 16 milliseconds. So it makes a difference of between four and eight, so one fourth and half of a frame of latency. So you probably can't actually see the difference when you're playing the game. The advantage of a wireless controller is pretty obvious that you don't have this cord to get in your way. So you'd have to weigh whether or not you thought that a half a frame of video made the difference between the number of kills that you got versus having a wired controller that you might get snagged on or somebody might snag when they're doing and the number of kills you'd lose to, hey, this just got in my way. Uh, depending on which wired controller you're using, you may also be giving up force feedback in the controllers because, for example, the Xbox wireless controller has force feedback and the Anza from Razer doesn't have force feedback and that might make a difference in how you play the game or how much you enjoy the game. So probably you just have a preference whether or not wired or wireless is better for you and that's probably more about the controller than the fact that it's wired or wireless.